back to my channel. This is Amy. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going over what my planner lineup was for 2021 and what it will be in 2022. So I wanted to go over what worked well and what didn't work so well with my planner lineup this year and then what I'll be changing it to for next year. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll just go from top to bottom. This skinny classic happy planner was my gratitude journal for um, the year and I'd only been using it for six months so I still have a bunch of stuff but honestly I do more journaling than just in this planner and I felt like it kind of got to the point where this planner I was just filling it out out of obligation rather than love. Now don't get me wrong I do love decorating it and I think that's why I lasted so long. I have so much fun when I decorate it. Um, and I'm filming this before this week, so I haven't filled it out yet. Um, but this is one of my favorite sizes to decorate. So that's probably why I lasted this long. But when I fill it out, it, I don't think it really brings me much. Um, so if I'm trying to save some time and be honest with myself, this one isn't really adding a benefit to my life. All right. And then this is my current journal and it is a vertical layout so it has been fabulous. Um, I use the monthly spread to write down like the best part of each day or something big that happened that day and then I fill out the each day with you know kind of what happened that day or how I'm feeling emotionally and things like that. Um, it's been working really well. It it's been six months using a vertical layout instead of a horizontal layout, and I do like it. Um, this planner is undated though, so you can see what it's like. And so the thing that I didn't love about it was that I had to date it every week and cover this up because it is the gardening planner. So my thinking is that I'll continue journaling, obviously, because journaling is such a huge part of my life, but... I may save the last six months of this planner for another time because it is undated and so I don't need to use it right now. So I'll just try something else. And if something else doesn't work, I'll come back to this. You know, who says I have to do it at January 1 every year. I can change it up as needed when I need to. So while I have loved this, um, I think I'm going to say goodbye to this planner for now as well. Okay, so make some space. <laughs> um, then this houses my bullet journal, which just has all my one-off pages that I've made, as well as bullet journal spreads. Um, so mood trackers, habit trackers, happy lists, affirmations, um, and then a month in review. And I've made lots of different bullet journals and don't always get to filling them out all the way. Missed a couple things there. Um, but overall, you know, do pretty well with how I fill it out. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this, so I definitely will be continuing it. I do have lots of paper left, so that's great. Though, you'll see when I unveil what I'm going to be doing that some of these may become obsolete, so what I'll be putting into here may shift, but I definitely will be doing some kind of bullet journal still. All right, then I've been using this wellness planner and it's been really great. I track my sleep in it um, because sleep has always been an issue. So like I use the monthly to write down um, how many hours of sleep I get and how many wakings I have um, because that's the thing that I've struggled with over time and just been working on. But um, I noticed that I don't always fill out this part of the planner. I love decorating it. Some weeks I do really well, um, but other weeks I don't do so well. So I have a lot of the planner left, But my thinking is that if I'm not using the weeklies consistently, maybe it's not the right fit for what I need at this current place in my life. So I'll be coming up with something new for the new year. 
All right, then we've got this. This is my catch-all. I love it. It's got so much good in it. Um, I have been having a lot of fun filling this out every week, being really creative in it. Vertical layout is my jam. So while this planner ends, I will definitely be continuing with a vertical layout for my catch-all in 2022. Then lastly, the other one I've been using is this big happy planner, which I've been using for social media. It technically is a 2022 planner. So like January is all dated and ready to go for me to fill out. Um, I have been loving decorating this. Um, let's see if I can find one. It is a lot of fun to decorate. I think it's really fun, really cute, and I have... I just love staring at it, but I have one problem. I don't like carrying two planners around my house with me or around where I go. And so I usually Franken plan everything into one planner. The problem is that this is a big and everything else I use is a classic. Um, and so this stays downstairs. I've been using it for social media and it stays downstairs in the basement where my planning area is. And then I don't bring it upstairs to look at it or check things off or anything like that. So unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to find a classic sized solution instead of this planner. Um, maybe one day I'll be at a different point where I can use something this big again. But for now, it, I just, I love it. Um, but I've realized I need everything in one. So it's going by as well. <laughs> So if you have been keeping track, that is, let's see, one, two planners I'm completely keeping and four that I'm getting rid of or shifting. So <laughs> let's look at what I'll be using moving forward. So first bullet journal. I will continue using this dot grid paper and keeping the things in here. I'll probably stop 2021 on this divider and put 2022 into this divider. I have some other things that I created and never used that I'll move aside. These I'll move aside. They're just kind of pre-made journaling things from the Happy Planner. Um, I'll move them aside and then just start 2022 here. Um, so the bullet journal will be that, but as I said, the content within the bullet journal is going to shift over time. Um, I'm not exactly sure what will happen, but because I'm moving away from the wellness planner, a lot of wellness things will go into here. Sleep tracking, step counts, that kind of stuff will be housed in the Boudreaux. Alrighty. So for my catch-all planner this year, I am going to be going with this neutral watercolors planner and it is gorgeous and it is a vertical layout still so it is really simple really clean and will allow me to do all the fun distressing stuff that I want to do um, without having to cover things up because the white out if I put white out on something it really does mess up the distressing to go over that um, so this is going to work really well. Alrighty. And then because the big wasn't working for the social media planner, I decided to get one of the other planners that I had received in one of my squad boxes. And this is a really cute and neutral one um, that is a dashboard layout. I have used a dashboard before and I really liked it. I haven't really gotten to the point where I'm super comfortable decorating it yet, but I can practice and have fun with it and learn. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking I would use this to write down my posts on Instagram and TikTok and then use this to write down my YouTube video for the day. And then the only thing that I'd need to do is like cover up the errands um, to make a different kind of 
thing right there because I won't have errands related to social media, but I would have tasks, notes, focuses, emails, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what I was thinking. And then it could just go in my Franken planner with my catch all and go around with me so that I can look at stuff and make notes as needed. So I'm really excited about that. I'm also just really excited at how neutral it is. Um, I just think it's super cute. Okay. After social media, you must be wondering what I'll be doing for journaling this year because I'm moving away from the vertical layout for my journal. And I'm going to be using for the first four months of the year this Hello Happy guided journal from the Happy Planner. And it is like my favorite thing ever. I am obsessed with this inner cover. And then this new layout that they have for journaling is amazing. So it has a month of, and this month's goal, and then habits, reading and watching lists, power words, and this month's to do. So it looks just like a bullet journal and it has a lot of stuff in here. So this is why some of the things from my bullet journal might become obsolete because some of them come into here. Like some habits are here. So maybe I don't need to make a habit tracker for the bullet journal, you know, things like that. And then it has a letter to yourself. I love that you can color in the art. It's all in just black and white other than some of the text. So you can color it and make it your own. And then the week of priorities, how can you take action to make sure these priorities happen? Things you're excited for, you know, the listening to, which is part of the month in review for me normally. Um, and then it goes into the dailies and has moods. So my mood tracker in my bullet journal, I don't need to do while I'm using this journal. Affirmations, you know, so a lot of things, gratitude, a lot of things kind of tie over from the bullet journal. Um, so the bullet journal will shift. So you'll see in the January video of my bullet journal what I end up doing about that. But it's still definitely something that's going to be a big part of my planning, just a little different. But yeah, so I'll be using this and there are four months of it. So I'll do this for four months and then decide whether or not to jump back into a more traditional journal um, like I was using already, where I just wrote down what happened that day, or use another Happy Planner guided journal, because I have a lot of them. <laughs> but this one, I'm just obsessed with. So that is going to be my journal for the next four months. All right. And then a new planner for me is this. It is a meal planner. I've been on and off trying out the extension pack from the Happy Planner for the last couple of months since I received it in the fall release. And I ended up buying this and I'm trying to focus more on planning out the food because it's gotten a little haywire with a toddler and a busy life. So I thought I'd use this one and try planning things out and see how that goes. I will say this may be one that I don't decorate a lot because it's just so useful, but we'll see. I may want to decorate it. I don't know. I like stickers. Um, but so you might see this sometimes. You might not. Um, you'll probably see it more on Instagram than on YouTube. I doubt I'll really film the planning of this. It might be more like showing an after the pen of how I laid it all out and how I planned it. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this. I can't wait to jump into that. So if you've been keeping track, that is five planners for regular use, um, journal, social media, catch-all, bullet journal, and food planning. Um, there are some other planners and things that I use regularly, but they're not like planners. They're more like notebooks. So let me just show you those real quick. I'll pull them out and just give you a quick glance. Um, cause I don't use them daily. That's the thing. I use them every once in a while. So here's my lettering, like planner, um, lettering notebook. And I practice lettering here. So I pull it out every once in a while and practice some lettering. So it just sits near my desk. And when I feel like doing it, I do it, but I don't do it every day. All right. Then I have 
this memory planner. And again, it is something that I don't do every day. I just fill out when I have the chance. But as you can see, some of it I have filled out, but then I've also just got hordes of pictures sitting here that I've been meaning to fill out. So it's just, again, one of those things that I catch up on it when I have the time, but it's not something that I need to do all the time. Um, this is just a notebook. It is, all these are bigs. All my notebooks are bigs for some reason. It is, I printed out all the stuff from Blossom and Root, which is kind of like toddler activity ideas. Um, so it's been really helpful to every once in a while pull out a week of it and plan some things for me and my toddler to do um, that are just different than normal, especially since things are sometimes closed down because of the pandemic and things like that. We haven't been going out as much, you know, um, so this has been really helpful to find some activities for her to do. So if you're looking for something like that, I highly recommend looking out, looking up Blossom and Root. And then one more big, this I got from the Happy Planner. It's one of the new Happy Plans and Notes. And I've just been using it um, kind of as a notebook. And um, mostly I haven't been using any of this part yet, but I might get into that. Um, but I've been using it as like a notebook for a faith planner to read when I read things to write down some notes about them. So again, that's not something that I do on a daily basis. I just have it here next to my planning area for when I want to um, work on that. All right. And the last thing I have is not Happy Planner. This is an Archer and Olive journal. And I do art journaling in it. Um, and I don't do it every day, but I've been slowly, you know, filling it out and creating things. Um, and here I started doing like memories, like this was Thanksgiving memories from when I was little, so I might do more of that. Um, but yeah, I'm slowly working through this. It's really fun. Um, but again, not something that I do every day, not something I really share that much. Um, but yeah, I keep all those over here in my planner cart, just to the left of my area. But yeah, so there's a lot of other notebooks I use, but these are the five that I will be using weekly and daily. So let me know in the comments below how many planners you'll be using. Are you a one planner kind of person? Do you have 10? Um, <laughs> let me know what they are and what you use them for. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click that like button and hit subscribe. See you all next time. Bye.